nothing lost but everything found you say nothing lost but everything found when you believe in yourself and build your life around many will come to tear you down because they have no ambition <laughs> so hope your day going well today uh this is one of the sleeve of my outfit let's see me here with one sleeve this is one sleeve of the outfit because i don't know what happened when the sleeve ripped off i found it ripped off so i'll be using the one sleeve on top of my head so you can see the rest of the outfit with one sleeve see one sleeve here and a little piece in the other one that's what i make this piece with <laughs> i don't throw away nothing you know once you pretty me take it i make something <laughs> oh you doing oh you doing today i hope your day is going well 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 and swell yeah i hope your day is going well today i watched this this morning you know I was going to put this in the garbage on one mind. Take it and make a hat. Why you going to put it in the garbage? You can get at least one wear or tight. <laughs> you can't get one wear or tight, girl. Design. You know what I mean? I'm about to go on the train. Maybe I should go like this. What do you think for the day on the train today? I thought we had a nice day to get on the train like this today. Because these people, you know, they're they like, they don't know nothing. You know, they're like, um, you know what I'm saying? See, me make it can't come off. It's set. The two little things them pushed down over the thing on my head like this and pushed down and said, like, go the fun state. Yeah, hallelujah to the wicked church people. Them. <laughs> hallelujah to the wicked church. One who called myself Christian. I got church every Sunday morning. Hallelujah to Ono. Hallelujah to Ono. Because some of the wicked body church if I long part Ono. <laughs> some of the wicked, like Daddy George used to tell me, say, um, good afternoon, my love. Eh? Daddy George used to tell me, say, when he was um, when he was younger, when he had the house on Fulton Street there, and a woman come there, you know, and um, she read people, and so she rent an apartment from him, and she go ahead and she read people all day long. She makes so much money. The amount of people that come up in the tour makes so much money. I mean, she make a whole lot of money. When I put on the next slide, so it's kind of dark. Right? So much money she make. And she only have one daughter. You see? And the daughter come all the time, come collect a whole bunch of money. Get away from here. Me tell for kill me. Kill no other thing. I said, I'm not one come from again. It's coming from the put them with gun around there. I wanna feel side them I come from. Yes, yeah, so um <laughs> I know. <laughs> My dear. So um, you know, he, he, he always tell me he's an older man, you know? And he always tell me a lot of stuff. And everything he tell me, me always. Listen to him, time comes out all. I mean, I trust, trust certain church people, man. Them too wicked. Them really too wicked. Them do a lot of wicked things. So the woman rent the place from him now and my pay him rent and she have people I read to him. When the time mom comes supposed to pay her rent, she do not want to pay her rent. When the, when the mom time comes, she do not want to pay the rent, honey. Let this go on top. Can I, can I little this? Oh, squeeze me, right? Good, comfortable. Yeah, when, 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 um, <laughs> I know. You know, everything I take and make something. That's the thing about me. You know, if you want, I could go go like that on the train for you. It's okay. I could do it for you. Yeah. So it's like, um, you know, every time she's supposed to pay her rent, right? She, um, ain't go upstairs. She make you take off her, her, her clothes, them, and stand up at the door. So when him knock on the door, she'll show me the door open. She turn up the naked. So in certain say, I come to pick up the rent. So the woman said, come on, come on inside, man, and thing, you know, come. He said, come inside, a man, thing, and come inside for what? I came to pick up my rent, you know. So the woman is like, um, yeah, man, you know, we set you up, man, you know, because we don't depend on no one thing. I said, come on, you have many people coming here, you're making money. I mean, you know, I'm not going to come in. I need my rent, I need my money. So him saying, walk back down the step, them now, and come back down a feet part now. The woman have a good friend who used to come and see her. So the good friend and the woman lick it together now. I told my good, good friend now and thing, you know what I'm saying? So next thing you know now, <laughs> the friend I can look for her all the time now. Take her on to him now because the friend don't live there. And to we like woman and so the woman nice looking. And the woman knows that we get money because he own the whole property. So the woman take her on to him now and start a friend with him, daddy George now. And the next woman is overworking woman with people come and read a fear friend. And that's why she come there. So, next thing you know, the friends are to her, so why you talk up with the man for? I don't know why you're talking up with him, you come here to see me, you're my friend. So the man said, come on, the man don't do me nothing. Me and the man is friend, why me can't talk to the man? 
The woman gets so upset to the friend and start to cuss the friend. And the woman travel all the time, you know, and she buy um, liquor and so. And she buy liquor and all kind of liquor. Sometimes she give the um, daddy George a buckle because the landlord. Uh, I'm the landlord. So what really happened now? She and the friend fall out because the friend are good on by him now and daddy George will give friend money. I give the woman money. He like the woman and I say, the woman say like the woman, you know, like next woman, you know, and pay her rent. So the woman and she fall out because of that. You understand me? So when they fall out now, the woman now said to daddy George, you know what? Since you want to act like that, and many men not grind on nothing, many men are just friends. I go tell the man. He said, when the woman come and give you a liquor, do not take that liquor from the woman and drink. And the back will get the last time. Don't drink it. Dash it out. Sam so said, why? She travel and she bring me this liquor. You know, it's a nice woman. I'm a good landlord. He said, man, let me tell you, let me tell you something you don't know. The woman take her foot them, her two foot them, and wash them in a pure water. No soap, nothing at all. Just take the pure foot them like we have your foot them clean. Your regular foot them. And she take pure water and wash between the two and wash her whole foot. I want you down to buckle the water and put it in the fridge. That stinker than any dead body, me here. After a couple like nine days or something, stinker than any dead body. Can't rot out your inside. So the woman mix up the thing they are brewed for daddy George. And the friend come and tell him so the woman I brought something. He said, man, the woman must take a buckle from up there. And carry down. And he said, it stink, it stink, it stink up the water in the back of the toilet. It's so stink. You don't think a dead smelly barrel around it. But you just take the pure water and rinse off your foot and put it in a bottle and put it in the fridge. You put it in somebody's food or something rotten out the inside and kill them. So that woman is up to no good. So he said, no, you know, want to deal with the woman. So the woman start to burn a lot of candles. When you look up on the backyard, down for your apartment, the apartment up on the top floor, you see all kind of red candle, black candle, all the way up on the wall coming down, dripping down on the wall coming down. You don't know how much candle she has burned until they start designing up the whole wall. From upstairs, dripping down on the wall coming down. Outside, not the back of the house. What the window? So she must have thrown a body through the window doing something they burn down. So I said to her, I said, man, listen, you have to go move. You know what I mean? And the woman carrying on all kind of things in a game, all kind of problems the woman game. All kind of shit woman a game, the woman want to move. Before the woman move, the woman call a nephew, get a nephew for her. Because she had to travel go somewhere and she built up one church. So she built up some church and if I don't saw her, wherever she went, but she went somewhere where she knows some people and thing. And she had a relative there, so she went and opened a church now, because remember that she's making big money. She went and opened the church now and she have a nephew living there. The nephew come there and give the man hard time. You understand me? Because the nephew appeared the rent, come like she's still living there. So the nephew gave him a hard time and he never wanted the nephew did it. Till next thing you know, he get the nephew come and tell him, said um, something bad happened. So he said, what could happen now? What's going on? He said, the woman passed away. He said, what? But as she had the owner for the place and the thing here, so you can't stay here because as she, <laughs> as she me rent the place, so I didn't rent it to you. So if she passed away, now you have to go move too. You understand? So I said, yeah, she passed away you know, and thing, he sat and I cry. So I said, what happened to her? The church fall long pan her. How the church fall long pan you a good church where you build just fall long pan you so? Because you're wicked. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said to you, people have to be careful, man. Some people have got to church on Sunday, man, and the wicked set of people them. Some have got church Saturday, man, and the wicked set of people may ever see. And I get to realize why. You don't have to go to church. You do not have to go to church to find God. You do not have to go to church and manifest nothing. Sometimes going to church stop you from manifesting the Holy Spirit. Sometimes going to church stop you from manifesting blessing in your life. You better believe that. Because of the congregation, because of the people that you go amongst, they're not even holy like you, not yourself. They're not even holy as you, as yourself, as a, as a sinner walking, I think you're so bad up and sinful. Them worse say you're a hypocrite and you don't like nobody. Most of them what me know and pastor they're liars and they're scammers i mean i see one and two good people not out there i want to serve god don't get me wrong but there's some of them out there is terrible right some of them out there is really really terrible look at the pastor man i said 30 thousand dollar pan gucci outfit you couldn't go to one regular store say your pastor and you're soon dead and go buy two look regular outfit and two look a shirt and help the poor people them eh? you have to just up in a gucci wherever you go spend much money because they're robbing poor people so this is what I need, I get to realize. I get to realize that if you function in your life and you want blessing, even though I have no, I have no, I still have blessing. 
in your life, when you sow a seed, for instance, you go to church and I tell you, I used to sow seed all the time. We used to sow the seed, them coming top near them. Me stop them the seed, them me say me stop suck the seed, them so me have to sow them. So me decide to say me not suck seed no more, me go sow the seed them. When you sow seeds and waiting for a result, you say, damn, you sow a seed, man, God really bless you. Look how it come to you, you must give and give and get. It's a true thing you can give. But to be natural, you don't have to go to church to sow a seed. Another thing I get to realize that I know for sure, when you sow that seed, whatever you say you sow the seed, you have certain things you look forward for, certain things you look to get done in your life, and you see it come ahead because you sow the seed. It's not because you sow the seed at the church. It's not because you sow the seed to the pastor. It's because of your manifestation. You see, when you get the money, and you go and you give the pastor, you have your mind thinking about something you want to get done and you're thinking how much you want to manifest this money because you see you're planting, you want to bust and grow. Well, I'm sorry for you to believe that's the pastor that make it grow. Honey, you are the only one can manifest your own blessing. Nobody can manifest your blessing for you. So for you to give a pastor money and think, say, him I'm going to make you okay. I know him. When you give him that money, you were still thinking about it. You are still thinking about the seed you plant. You are still manifesting things to come to you. You don't need nobody for that. You don't need to go to church to give nobody your money for manifest because you yourself is like Jesus Christ. When you realize that the third eyes is the eyes of God, you carry two and one here make third. This is the all-seeing eyes of the Almighty God, which is planted right in your chakra, in your fucking brain. Go and look and you will see, and you will find out. So every time when you're looking out, you have the eyes of God. That's why you can fix things. You can listen to your mind and don't make certain mistakes because it's there to correct you in light, the right path. Now, when you go to church and say, Jesus Christ, and throw all the money and get pastor, like me used to do, hundreds and hundreds, I don't regret it. But it's through the faith. Your faith is like a manifestation. What them call it faith and not just faith. It's a manifestation. It manifests because you have your mind upon it. You think your mind upon something and it comes to life. You think it's just like you put a seed on the ground and it busts and it grows. It's the same thing with your human mind. But we've been thinking about the last cartoon. We've been thinking about the last movie. We're thinking about the last gossip. We're thinking about the next, the next news. We're thinking about the next name brand. We're thinking about all kind of foolishness while the day is going and we're running out all our energy and nonsense and that's why we can't manifest for ourselves. Now, for you to manifest, you look around and see the place is very noisy. And when you look around, everybody running doing something. And everybody looking for help, but nobody's trying to manifest their own help. So when you realize that you can manifest your own help, all you want to do is manifest your own help. And pray to God the Almighty because that's your only connection you have to the chakra. To your third eyes to God Almighty. And manifest. You don't need to go to nobody and get in. If you're going to obey a man and this and go for that. Some guys will have spiritual cleaning. Because some people mess you up in a way to get spiritual cleaning. And some people clean the body. Right? You have the old time Indian them and all them people know to clean the body very well. Very well. Like when they take a DM3 trip. Them very well. So when you give your money to someone and I wait, Lord, me throw this in a church, me go get blessed me soon come, it's you manifesting your own. You could have kept that money or you could have used that money and help somebody else with less when I have a meal today, when I have a place to sleep tonight or something. You could have used that seed and planted it into that person because you can manifest it yourself even without the seed. It's already in you. God is already in you if you recognize him. Right? So when you go to church and throw the money and I sit down overweight and I sit down and sick, oh pastor, pray for me, Lord, my blood pressure high. You are only giving your energy to somebody else. You're living your life wide open to somebody else. You're looking pity from somebody else. It's like you have no use to your own self. It's like you have no use to your own self. Remember me telling you that. Right? People are going to church from year to year. The wickedest set of people them. Them have houses. Then I say, all right then. Let me give you a room to live in free. Let me take care of you. Let me help you. I have more than a room. I see people in America like a lady, a Jamaican lady, I know from the corner. And let me chat to you, no lady. And let me talk to you. And let me talk, chat to you. But I sit down and talk to you for a while. And the lady, 
size is like this. And she's an ageable lady. Let me tell her, she's an ageable lady. And her size is like this. And she hardly can walk. And you know she's not a poor person, but you come all the while and so come pick up the cheap food and one cat. She drove all the way from her house, come at the Ronick church and so come pick up some cheap food for yam. She's not taking care of herself. And she were complaining that she have a house in Jamaica. I know she have a young man living at the house. And she just threw him out and think making left to be kind of this and you know that. And I said, no, you shouldn't throw him out, man. I look over the house and think for you. You may care too friendly and nothing that. That's because she's greedy. You see, she have the house locked up there. And she have somebody, and it's too little smarty come there, like a sitting in ignorance. You know, in America, you never know if you're going to make it back. Because the size of you, and to all you walking, you hardly can move. Me not see no way you're going to make it back there, so no. You know, cannot be greedy, man, for things you don't have to leave behind. The world don't belong to you. Know. You come here to manifest and go. Trust me, just come here to manifest and to go when you don't manifest. Look about your life, your children and manifest. This place is a demonic place. This place is a demonic place. And most of these people are demonic. You see what I'm talking about? You see that? Never until me come on camera. You see that? Because somebody had tried frighten me in here. The medical called them. I um, must tell what the name. So look out for them. They called them for me. Because I don't want to go wrong with this stuff. Because somebody has stopped me. And I get the two medical letters. I'm going to get no card in them. One of them supposed to have a card in there. So I can't go and take up my teeth one time. And the real one come October. Well, not me. Somebody tamper with the letter. I take up here and see the letter. They put inside and walk me. Not none of them. So look at me for what on the money man in again. You understand? I've seen people with education that been to school, been to college and everything, and then don't even have soap for bed with. Because their mind is bad. Because their mind is corrupt. I have seen people with education put me down to the worst and tell me I'm done. I know me this, I know me that, and try to break me down. To break me down to the last, I'm going to have food to eat. So I'm stuck like a prisoner sitting in here. I've seen that happen to me, and believe me, I feel like somebody's still around me. Sometimes, good evening, I tell you, the phone don't even ring for me to make a money for buy a cream. Once in a while, the phone ring. Somebody, to me, I put the aspirin and somebody tamper with my phone. So I can't stay in here and dead feel hungry. The phone, people I can't reach me, I call them. Good evening, can't reach you. But one month, I call them, I can't reach you. People can't even buy them stuff because they're tampering with my line. Me decide to say, not to come out to be nothing because you haven't been to school and college, but you're way too bright. She's manifesting too much. She's searching for too much inside information. She's getting too high on that. Wanna cut her down. So the wicked them come in now and try to destroy me. And you never want me to be on the camera. You notice when I come on the camera, the fly start to, 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 to run on. And once the fly start to come on, my skin start to itch me. I'm not sure I like to fly or whatever. All the time I have had this from man until now. And I also my company camera with my skin started itch me for no reason at all. No, 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 no. Close them clean. As the fly fly around me, then my skin start itch me. Me never fall through me the thing and me run me catch a man and me tell him me never see anything like this in my life. Trying to stop me from manifest. When we say demons is real, they are real. Trying to stop Oliver smell from manifest. Because me I dig too deep and me I search too deep. And me I tell him every time I find something, me I tell him what I find. Because we live in the darkness for too long. You understand? I've seen people dance and can't make it. I've seen people stop me day and night. I'm lucky to be alive right now. All in my bed, they must stop me. When I wake up in the morning, they must stop me. Every time they pass me, they stop me. Every time they pass, it's like a demon. Trying to stop it from manifest. I am telling you. And those people that are trying to stop it from manifest, them nasty, them dirty, them have nothing. I could never been to college, live into this country, born into this country, and been to school and college, and I don't have a good place to live. Don't have no money in the bank. Do not have nothing at all. I cannot see how people does that. You go to school, you go to college, you don't have a decent job. You don't have a decent bed. You don't have clothes. You don't even map your place. It does not stink. It's you and drop it on the floor you know they put all them dirtiness in the tissue and when they done they just drop it on the floor for fly take it eh eh you go to school and of course we go to school school not teach you what you need to know school not going to teach you how to manifest them teach you how to go and work for minimum wage them trainers you can't go somewhere else and have you know you can't go sing and, and minimum they're not teaching you how to fish for yourself how to manifest your own money 
And that's what I tried to do. What is it? Facebook was paying me. I was making up to 1500 a month on Facebook, manifesting. I was making out over 4000 had when I come here on YouTube before. I was manifesting. All right? Still, my cream was selling out. Was manifesting. How much? $100 a week. 1000 a week. I was more than 100 After I've been threatened and people started to stop me, as soon as I go on Facebook, they report me the cut off so I would lose. So I would lose the commercial. I remember one particular day I was praying to God and said, no, no, no. I haven't done nothing right here. I want me to look. It come back on. I was glad that they gave me back. I remember picking up the phone and call a Pacific person and say, I'm glad I get the commercial back. And it's like, what? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? I think they was done with that. I didn't expect the result that I heard. And 15 minutes later when I was on it, boom, the person blocked me again. To make sure I have nothing on thing. And then they go in on the YouTube and try to take down the YouTube. Then they go in on my phone and lock out my phone so people can't call me. Then they go in and start talking bad about my cream crew and can't get my crutches. Then can't get to slave me. And try to break me down to nothing. You hear me tell you? Try to break me down to nothing. Some would have nothing to eat, nothing to drink. I just slung like this. And then all kind of something start happening to me. No, 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 no. Wicked people are going to suffer. And they will suffer. Some of them don't suffer yet, but when the time comes, they will because I'm a fallen angel. And when I see a person do not like to see anybody else do good, are you trying to do something? Anything they do can't come good. Cannot do good. It cannot come good. No matter what them do, no matter what them try, they will suffer. It will never come good. Because their mind is bad. Their thought is bad. Their mind is rotten. They cannot manifest anything. Because first of all, if you don't believe in God, how can you manifest? How can you manifest? If you don't believe in God, how can you manifest? You tell me. So you have seen people with ambition and go to college and they don't have nothing. All them do is sit around with paper in them hand, paper towel and from side to side watching all kind of nastiness on sight. Man or woman, them do, them do anything. They don't care. Right? Which show they kind of mentally what they have. And when them sit down and play a game for the rest of the day, or if they have one little sitting there and go do one little two little hours, they go do two little hours like them doing big job. They're not doing anything with them life. And them sit there until them young, until them old. And when they come across, you know, they want you to be a lover. They want you to be a girlfriend. They want you to be a wife. They want to come and mingle with you and all kind of thing. Yes, and listen, me not into that. Me not into that. Don't me not into that. Them get angry. Them get mad at you. Them start scream at you. Them start to big lickle you. Them start to, Ugh, like you're disgusting them and vomit. Like you're nasty and dirty. And sometimes, when you live with someone, in a place it can be get dirty sometime especially if you're a person keep cleaning all the time and you always clean all the time and as you're cleaning say dirty up back again like somebody willfully dirty up your back or if you're afraid of something you know like say for instance like me afraid me afraid of certain things i don't want to mention what it because i mentioned it before what it was and i guess the person was watching my video and find out who's ever doing this to me so what they do, they go and get this thing and put it in the kitchen. When I go in the kitchen, I shock and I jump back because I frighten it. You understand me? So, who's to ever doing that to me? They put in this bug there because they know I'm afraid of the bug. And they put the bug right on the counter. Which is disgusting to me. Someone needs a kitchen. Go back and, twice and they know I'm not like this thing, right? And it's weird that you don't like something and all of a sudden, the thing is dead, killed, and it's put in right there. You know? And then also, whether it's alive or not, you're afraid of it. Right? Trying to mess with your mentalness. And you have people who are very nice to you. They was like, man, I ain't got nothing. They will come and give you the last little money, like here, you know? Let them try to be nice to you. But at the same time, them dislike you. They want you to ask. They want you to beg. They want you to, they would like to see you like that. They don't want you to manifest. I have seen people drag me. I could have passed away again. And I probably passed away before I leave you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I will make it out alive. But I pray to God I will. Because bad energy, when you have bad energy in a place, like sometimes when I get up in the morning time after wear sweater, I'm outside, it's hot because here it's freezing cold. When you're in a place and it's freezing cold, like winter till you have to put on socks and things, that's a spirit. That's an entity hanging around that make the place cool like that. So like I said to you, I've give God the glory, I've give God praise, I give God thanks, but I will never stop manifesting. 
Because you was come here to take care of your own life and your own self. You can't sit down and depend on people to take care of your spirit. Right? What is good? When the spirit is good, the body is good. If the spirit is bad, then the body is bad. Then the machine they have a carry on is going to destroy. It's going to shut off. You're going to die. Right? So you have to know that. Bad energy comes in different things. You understand? In people and things. People and things. Energy is on it. Right? So like I said, a lot of people have education, but they don't have nothing. A lot of people have education, but they don't have any ambition. A lot of people have education, but they don't know how to talk to people. A lot of people have education, but they have nowhere going in life. Not even to God himself, because they don't even know God. I realize in life, I, I would be way better right now. Since I came on this thing I was doing good, I would have able to get me a, a, a little condo apartment or something. The amount of money I lost. I lost a lot. Because trusting. And I remember one time I heard somebody was laughing and talking to a friend. I said, man, I'm taking all our money by the thousand. <laughs> and our best offense, our best offense is like, yeah, yeah, arguing, arguing. Man, laughing at me. But you see, God is my glory. And I'm going to manifest back everything that I lost. Because I believe in me. And I believe in God. And I believe in manifestation. But one thing I can tell you. Don't let anybody put you down. And conquer your soul to use your body. Because when they trash everything that you're doing. They still got you on their mind. You walk around, they're still watching your pants. They're watching your butt. They're still watching your body. So they still have it in their mind. Something is still in their mind. And the worst thing about that I hate when people manifest, you know the spirit is bad, is when you're, when you're looking for a woman and I'm stalking her or disrespect her because she don't want to be with you in the worst way. And at the same time, you have a boyfriend. How the hell are you going to have a boyfriend and you're stalking this woman and mad with this woman because she not put herself with you but you have a boyfriend? Huh? People are going to open up your eyes. Don't trust nobody. Only person you can trust is God himself and your manifestation. Nothing else on earth you can trust. There's a lot of fallen angel out here. There's a lot of people pretend to be. Sit on them phone every minute. I text and I tell life on you. This, that. Sometimes. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes I could feel a negative energy so much. If I go to the kitchen and I'm trying to use the kitchen, I'm trying to hurry up fast as I can to get back in my room and close the door. Because I know negative energy when I feel it. I don't want to be out there. Negative energy. I don't want to be around that. Because I know no matter what I say, if somebody gives you something and say thank you, you know, I really appreciate it. It's like, okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 don't worry about it. Just go ahead. Go, go, go. Go. go, go. That's insulting. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's insulting. Go, 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 go. No, it's okay. Hey, hey, go, go. I don't want to hear it. Go, go. Ah, ah. All this kind of thing in you. That's money. That's the demons. You see? The amount of things that happen to me, the way much time people bring me to schooling to tell me how I should run my channel, what I should say when I come alive, how I should be trying to break me down from the personality that I am, trying to tell me how to be. How the hell are you going to tell me to be in my own personality, how to talk, how to be? To control my life. Let me tell you something. I'm stronger than that. And that's why I feel it's negative entities trying to take my life. Because it's do or gone. So this moment I come in here. My spirit give me a vibe to talk about this. I don't know why but I talk about this. Sometimes you got people who are sick mentally. And they act like they're straight. And if they can't have you to do what they want to do, they take the time and break down what you got to do. To another friend, to another friend. This, this, this. Some of them tell lies on the cream. Some of them even have other people calling in when I'm on live to tell lies on the cream just for me to make money. Only people that know how good it is, they will come and, and buy. Right? Because they know how good it is. They know it's good cream. Whichever one may have still good, they're still going to buy. Because they know that. They use it all the time right so like i can tell you god is good and i'm a strong woman and i'm forever going to fight and i will fight to the end of my rights 
But I can tell you there's a dark entity inside here. And it's a bad entity. It's real bad. It's real, real bad. It's a bad, bad spirit in this place. Why well, I can tell you that? Because sometimes it gets so cold in the morning time. And the phone is still sleeping in AC at night. Because it's so hot in the night. But it's so cold in the daytime. And not a door warm. It happened many times. Right? So I love you guys. Remember not to trust nobody with your life. And some of these men is just looking for you to be slave. They want you to cook gift them. They want to lie up with them and rub your dung and use your body and nasty, put them nasty germs itself by you. Them sleep with woman, them sleep with man, they don't care them. I try to put that upon you. I try to rub off all that negative energy you want upon you. Then while you lie down with them and sleep with them and hug up with them and be a wife to them. And them worthless and only sit down and play a video game. And then don't even have soap for beard with them nasty. They don't even clean them place with soap. With bleach and mop the floor and dirt. When I look, they have cobweb built up till it black and hang from the ceiling. When I look them floor, they can't see the color of the floor. The amount of dirt, the pony. It bake on. It bake on to the floor. No, that's disgusting. Right? So that's negative energy. Because when they carry a negative energy, you don't want to pick up a mop and mop your floor. And clean up the place where dirt is. Because the negative energy, you just live with that negative energy. That's what it likes. You know, it doesn't like cleanliness. They say cleanliness is the part of godliness. Right? So God bless you today. Um, leave your comment. And I'll talk to you later because I have things to do. I have to manifest. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Mwah.